Hello. You couldn't do this before. It didn't. It didn't let me do spaces on pr- my private Twitter. Now it does. How fancy. Hello. Let me see if this is working. <laughs> Can you hear me? Hello. Hello. Hi. 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 Is it working? Checking my mentions. It's working. There you go. Perfect. Cool. Um, I am just organizing my closet and cleaning. And I thought I would uh, do a space because why not? Good way to pass the time. Um, they didn't let me do it on my... I used to... I always tried to do it on my alt, on my, my private, but it's never let me. But now it did. So I guess they updated it. I don't know when, but at some point. There's been a lot of changes on Twitter anyway, so makes sense. Um, how are all of you? What is up? You guys see George's TikTok? If not, you should look at it. It's funny. Um, he, we were just, we were just like messing around. Well, backstory to it we were just messing around like i don't know we were just we were just chilling and um uh he was just he just kept recording like random like he kept saying i want to make a tiktok he kept recording like like little random things like he was just doing random stuff and then um like i was coming out of my office and he was just was recording that like recording patches and um was like She's being annoying or whatever. And I was going to like slide, I was going to like slide in, like, like jump into the frame and like slide in like all cool. Like, and I just tripped and I fell. And, um, anyway, I didn't like, I, I completely, I like gave, I have a massive bruise on my arm from it now. Um, because I like, I like totally redirected. So I didn't hit her. And so I didn't hit her at all. She didn't patches didn't get hit. If you look at the video, but anyway, I felt bad. And I gave her food, but anyway, um, you're at school. Congrats. 5am for me. Um, anyway, I thought you planned it. No, it was not planned. It was not planned. Um, yeah so that's what I'm up to just cleaning and organizing my closet um what else have I been I met a really there. There was um. I was in uh, what was it? Uh, it was like CVS or Walgreens or something. Um, I think it was yesterday. I don't. My my sense of time is terrible. It was either yesterday or the day before. Um, but uh, I was in like a CVS or a Walgreens or something, and um, I got approached by uh, a Puerto Rican mother, and um, I was uh, I was obviously we live in Orlando, so I was I was near Disney. And, um, uh, she, she was wearing like, they were all wearing like her, she, she was with, um, uh, like her family and, um, she came up and she said, my son, like she, she didn't speak English, like she didn't speak English well. Um, but she's like, my son, my son is a fan. Um, and I was like, oh my God. And then, um, I took a picture with him. Um, and I was like, I wasn't sure how much English they spoke. So we were like trying to communicate with each other, but they, I, I have to just, they were on vacation in uh, going to Disney and um, I, th- I thought it was cool. Like, they didn't even speak English and um, 
it came up and we had we had a small very limited conversation but it was nice um and uh that was cool um it's actually it's funny how many people that i i meet i feel like most people don't realize that I, well it's interesting like most people know that we live in orlando but most people don't know that we live in orlando because almost everyone that i almost everyone that's come up to me in person in in florida um is like surprised and well or, or like asked like oh what you know you're going to disney you're visiting you whatever I'm like no we we live <laughs> we live here um so that's kind of funny because I would think uh, I guess I think I, I I think that people more people know that we live in Florida than than actually do. Because um, yeah, because even like uh, the girl that was in line in front of me um, in the CVS whenever that happened um, was like, I thought you looked familiar, blah blah, and then was like, and then asked, ended up asking a question about. Um, like, oh, are you so you're visiting? I'm like, no, <laughs> live here. Um, don't want these. There was also though. I was in. I went to um, uh, Disney Springs. Uh, which is essentially for those of you who don't know, it's like a, it's a bunch of like restaurants and shopping stores and whatever that's in like a free Disney sort of, um, it, sort of, I don't, know, I don't know if that's the best way to describe it, but I was there the other day and, um, uh, there's two, two different, two different things happen Two different. They're both a good, they're a good example of what not to do. And then a good example of what to do. Um, so first one was I was in like the Lego store <laughs> and, uh, it, I'm pretty, I mean, this is, this is what happened is essentially, um, the, it was like the workers there, I think recognized me, but they didn't say anything cool. They were cool as far as I know. Um, but then there was like these girls and I'm, I'm like, I'm, I'm extending nine, nine point nine, 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 nine percent certain that they like recognize that. Oh, it's true. Um, but I, I like, I first, when I saw them, I wasn't sure. And I was like, Oh God, I, I didn't really want to be recognized. So I was like, well, I like walked away and was kind of like behind a pillar and stuff. But I was like, I'm, I'm like fairly certain they did. And they were just the face, their faces they were making and stuff. And then as I like, I can kind of hear them off in the distance, like as I walk away, like talking, um, and I'm pretty sure they said dream. And then as I walk outside, I, I like walk away. Um, and I was with like family and friends and stuff. So I, I whenever I'm with like family or friends, I'll just, you know, walk away or, whatever but um uh and then like they they come out of the lego store and i'm like by myself away by the pier or something and they come and they like they like act like they're taking a selfie with each other and i'm like in the background I'm like okay you're trying to take a picture of me clearly um but then i don't want to be rude so i'm not going to be like oh i'm gonna like run out of their shot or something but um but yeah that happened but um there was also um i met two uh lovely fans outside of um uh dinner uh, i was like coming out of dinner and um uh i was with like people from my management and and stuff and um uh there was there were some fans who saw us when we were going in i guess and then um like wait like waited and uh people like to say that's kind of weird but it's not that's not i don't think that's weird i'd rather i'd rather like people wait than like bother me while i'm eating if that makes sense um uh but, but yeah, they were lovely. They were they were really nice. We we chatted for a bit. They were just visiting. They said their they said their friend was like um, when they because they they're from Canada and they drove down I guess and they said um, that uh, they they were like oh uh, our friend um, our friend was on the phone with us before we were going and they're like oh my god what if you saw Dream because they I guess they again, they knew that we lived in Orlando um, and they're like oh there's no way we'll see Dream and then it's just like I just happen to be I haven't been to Disney Springs in like a million years. Just happened to happen to be there and um, see them. So that's that's really cool. And we took uh, we took pictures on like a, they had like a I think a Polaroid camera or something or a digital or a, not a digital camera, but that was cool. They were awesome. I'm trying to remember their names. I think one of them one one of them was Hannah, and the other one was 
had a more unique name that I'm not going to remember. Anyway, shout out to you. You 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 hear this or see this or something? Um, yeah. Meeting fans is awesome. I, I feel like I I've, I get to I get to meet a lot. Um, which is I think the face reveal had such like a big, a widespread like reach that there's some I get to meet some people and talk to people and I I'm 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 a social I'm a social creature, so it's nice talking to people. It's very cool. I don't know why I just went on that rant, but what are you reading message from us? I'm not really reading anything. I'm just, oh, that was the first one I just read. I just went to mentions, but um, yeah. Tell us who locked the fridge. That was George. George locked the fridge. George had like, so George bought, like George bought soup or something. Um, and it was like broccoli cheddar soup. And it was sitting in there for like, I don't even know how long, a long time. And um, uh, so I had some of it. And then George came back like, or George, when George, wait, was he gone? I think he was gone. And then George came back and was like, did you eat my soup? I was like, I mean, I had, it's like broccoli cheddar from like, it was like from Walmart or something. I was like, I could get, I can get more. And he was like, I come back later and the fridge is padlocked with a bike lock. I'm like, all right, George, you don't, like, you don't need to, that's a little, that's a little exaggerative. It's like, okay, no one wants people eating their food. But it wasn't like it was like leftovers or like, oh, I bought this thing. It was like people, I don't, we share. I don't know. He's eaten plenty of things that I've put in the fridge. But I just thought it was, it was very funny. That was a TikTok. You know, fuck TikTok. I hate TikTok. TikTok sucks. Like, like genuinely, it, it, there needs to be like a staffer that, that – connects with me or something like it happens to almost everyone i know it's it's so like demoralizing it's so annoying like I, i've made since i face revealed i've probably made like eight tiktoks and four of them have been taken down or, or get like taken down or get like a community guideline strike or something and it's like what what am i doing i'm not even i'm not even like half the shit i see on my for you page is like 10 times worse than anything i posted i post like a joke a joke thing stealing the florida sign it gets removed um, the other one the other day, I don't even know. I don't even know why the last two I got I posted got removed. But yeah, there's more than I mean, there's more than one fridge. He it, it, it didn't padlock like the main fridge. It was just it was the other fridge. So it was a different. It wasn't the main fridge. He wouldn't get away with that. But it is kind of funny. It's taken out because it was awful. I hope that helps. No, it wasn't awful. Yeah, that was a, yeah, it was in the cat, the cat one as well. It's annoying. Whatever. They suck. Um. 
Um, uh, what to talk about? What are some conversation topics? Um, uh, dream lore finale for Dream SP. That's pretty good. It's a good topic. Um, what about it? Let's talk about it. Um, I think it turned out great. I, I really, I, I was really happy with it. Uh, obviously, um, uh, if we had more time and and everything, we could uh, do do more. But um, I'm happy with with what we were, with what we did, with what we were given, and um, I'm happy with uh, how everything went. It went great. Uh, I quite enjoyed uh playing uh the character and i like i like like role playing and stuff is fun obviously i had a good time it was great kind of the daily streams streaming with uh with tommy it went back it took me back to back in the day um tommy and tubbo and everything i think it was a lot of fun i enjoyed it I think revealing a lot of the stuff that, uh, in terms of intentions, uh, it, it was all stuff that has kind of already been out there, but not like kind of concise and also not like the Tommy and, and, uh, and C Tommy and C Tabo. But, um, you know, it was, it was fun. It was fun. I enjoyed it. Um, Questions, I guess. You guys can ask questions if you want. I'm just, I am sorting my laundry right now, so <laughs> I have this shirt, this, the Halloween shirt that I wore that says I don't, I don't need a Halloween costume. My face reveal was scary enough. I just, I found that in my laundry. What do I do with it? Should I like sign it and give it away or something? I don't know what I should do with it because I'm, I'm never gonna wear, I'm never gonna wear it again. <laughs> and it's just, it's clothing. And it's just kind of a funny like I guess it doesn't even the thing is it I don't know I guess like yeah I don't know what to do with it because also like it's not like anyone else wants to wear it like yeah we're a thing of my face I don't know what I'll do with it um I don't know what I will do with it what is this I haven't worn this Uh, I'm not going to right now. Okay. <clears throat> um, Lauren, yes. Uh, every every like cat toy and cat stuff that we have, we got from the PO box. So. Unless someone sent that same cat toy, then that was your cat toy. <clears throat> when are we going to get a Dream Team IRL stream? I don't know. We The only things that I know know of that we have like definitely planned in terms of IRL uh, streams are, we're, we're a bunch, are a bunch of um, like Christmas, New Year's streams. So... We were gonna we were gonna have a dream team for George's birthday. I just was sick. <laughs> I was very sick. I wasn't like I was. I, I felt like shit, but I wasn't like I don't even know how to describe it. Like it, it was it, it like came in <coughs> came and went as well. I don't know what it was. It wasn't like COVID though. <clears throat> I still kind of um, I'm like congested and stuff, but I'm not like I feel fine. Anyway, uh, lore questions if you guys would like. I'll refresh and see as I put my clothes away. Um.
Oops. I'll look in one second. How's my stomach? I don't know if you're oh, you guys are in a drawer. I don't know if you can even hear me. Probably. Um... Okay. Let's check. <laughs> You're in a drawer there. Yeah. Can you talk about why C. Tommy saw that in his limbo? Um, I'd say that that's that's more of a question for Tommy um, than than me. Um. Because my reasoning is, uh, well, it's, it's what pushed the story along. But <laughs> um, I don't know what the Tommy's reasoning behind behind it is, and what Tommy's character's reasoning behind it is. So, um, I think that the way that I would I would look I would interpret it is that um, it's kind of like it like Tommy wants like this this is what this is how I would interpret it and totally Tommy could completely disagree so feel free to disregard everything I'm about to say if you don't like it at all um but uh I would interpret it as that Tommy really wants like for his friends to to be able to you know if for it to be simple and for him to just be having fun with his friends um you know how how he how it used to be back in the early days of the server and so seeing that but for his you know for seeing that before dream, you know, the, the dream experiencing what he, you know, what he wants. And of course, uh, dream is his nemesis, whatever. Um, that's how, that's how I would interpret it. But Um, Oh, <clears throat> Hi, King. Can you confirm the interaction between Dream and Tommy wasn't a forgiveness? It was just understanding. Yeah. No, no. Tommy wasn't forgiving. Was not <laughs> forgiving Dream. I think it was a. I think Tommy. Tommy had never seen dream as anything other than just this evil you know bastard that's doing all these horrible torturous things to him which he did and was um and had never never stopped to think about um or, or even imagine you know what dream was like before you know in the in the past and so it was more of a humanizing moment of kind of like a you know this person's a this hey this person's a human too we're both from the same place whatever um uh it was it was definitely not a oh that means that everything's okay like I think Tommy said this Tommy said the same thing in the lore he was like well it doesn't you know I understand you know what your goal is but this isn't how you do it and I think it was one of those things where it, you in my mind it was it was a moment of you know before in in the past you know you're never going to if you don't understand somebody's intentions you don't understand somebody's goals you don't understand you know why some what somebody wants and 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 uh, you go into every situation with a, well, you're, you know, you're evil or you're, um, you know, you're a bad person, you know, whatever, then you're, ne you're never going to convince the other person. And it's the same thing with, or you're, ne you're never going to make any ground um, with anybody. Uh, and I think that, so it was, it was the first time where um, ever between Tommy and dream where they had any, any kind of understanding with each other because they had always just been at each other's throats and had always been, um, 
you know, fighting for so long and had never stopped to really, un- really try and understand each other. Um, but especially for, um, for dream as, uh, as obviously his motives for a million different things had just been, had been up in the air and had been things that not only did the audience not know, but, um, the, the characters themselves don't know either. But yeah, so I'd say it was, it was a hundred percent. It was not, it was not a forgiveness thing. It was a, it was an understanding and it wasn't an understanding with a level of forgiveness. It was just understanding it completely. It was just a, and I think it was more of a, um, of a Tom, Tommy going up, you know, for the longest time operating under the impression that dreams just this, you know, evil bastard that, that, you know, just enjoys, it absolutely enjoys torturing me and whatever. And, you know, that's the thing is you can interpret things how you'd like, but I, I'd say that there, there is an element there and there, there is an element of enjoyment from, you know, from dreams, uh, perspective, um, because of, uh, because of the, the past and their history together and whatever that I'm sure dream does derive some joy from <laughs> the actions he's and the things he's put Tommy through and whatever. But obviously those are, he's not going into it with the intention of, Oh, well, I, I, this is my, my goal is just to bring hell to Tommy or bring hell to, um, the server or whatever. And so I think that the the moment of understanding is more understanding that if, if that's not, if that's not dream, if dreams intention isn't or dreams main goal is not, you know, being an evil person and, it, you know, deep down he, he, ha- he does have um, good intentions, even if he's it, is a evil bastard for the way he went about things um, that maybe there is a way to make it work, you know, because if, if you're just, if you're just pure evil, then, you know, you get, get rid of, get rid of it from the earth you know versus if you know oh you're uh you've done horrible things you deserve to pay you deserve to pay for them you deserve to be punished for them you deserve to have repercussions from them um but at the same time um you know you can there is a way where we can work together because we have the same we have the same goals we have the same morals we have the same you know whatever in mind um that's kind of how i look at it i don't know if that i don't know I think it's also um, more up for interpretation. So, What would have happened if uh, C. James' imprisonment had lasted longer? Um, I don't know what you mean by that. I think that uh, the, the the biggest, like, behind people, people were saying, oh, Jim purposely put himself in prison. So I was like, well, yeah, but no. Um, uh, and for my my understanding of it is, yes, um, Dream did uh, purposefully... Uh, you know, put himself into the prison and, and the prison was a, a part of um, the overall plan uh, in terms of um, it wasn't, it wasn't, I, I didn't, the, the prison wasn't built for dream. Um, the prison was built for the, the fulfilling dreams goals overall and the ability to do that. And um, one of those things was uh, to obviously there's be, there'd be certain people that would be more likely to get in the way and, unlikely to um and and also having the understanding of the fact that there was a revival book um uh dream after kind of becoming aware of that and and coming to possession of one himself um dream had the idea that well you know what if what if somebody like techno or somebody like you know somebody strong and i'd say in my mind that it was originally when i came up with the idea for it it was it was more so based on technoblade um, and, uh, the reasoning for it was dream being scared of the fact, well, what if there's more, what if there's more revival books and what if death is not, a, you can't stop somebody with death. Like it's, it's scary knowing that you can, you you can beat somebody fully and then they're just there. And so he thought the idea of making a prison where if that ever does come to be, where somebody is trying to stop, um, stop him, stop his goals, stop, uh, you know, hurt the server, whatever, 
that um, they'd be able to be stopped by putting them in the prison, which is kind of funny because obviously it kind of ended up being the opposite. Um, but uh, when Dream, see Dream, uh, um, put himself into the prison, it was it was thought of as a very, it was thought of as a temporary thing, um, and ended up lasting a lot longer than he had imagined. And also on top of that, he didn't expect that awesome dude would let Quackity in to fucking torture him. Um, so that obviously made things a million times worse, but and just to clarify, the prison wasn't built for techno, but it was just like, oh, well, techno's seeing techno's power and stuff back then and being like, it was one of those things where it was like, oh, you know, what if somebody as powerful as Technoblade, you know, there are people that can be as powerful as, as, you know, as me or whatever, as Sea Dream. And um, so what if one of them is is not on our side or what if Techno is not in the future or whatever? If that makes sense. Anyway, soup, I want soup. I love how the one TikTok that hasn't been taken down is the one of you sitting on the toilet. It's like, yeah. It's it's also annoying because that TikTok was age restricted. So it's like even the ones that didn't get taken down, like what is age restricted about that? I don't understand. Like you see like the tiniest frame of lower leg. Like what? That, that, that is like that that one is ludicrous like what what is age restricting about that tiktok what is age restricting there's nothing nothing remotely bad like i didn't even i i purposely didn't even like take down my underwear or anything like for the joke like the joke that i was taking a poo like, you just see like lower leg very lower leg and pants like what tiktok's like no unacceptable and there's like girls throwing ass on on TikTok on the daily. <laughs> it's like what? My my lower leg is not enough. It's like shirtless dudes. I was about to say I was about to say shirtless dudes filling my for you page, but that comes across weird. But still, there, there is people all the time on TikTok. It's not like it's a everyone's. Fully clothed, one hundred percent of the time. You can't even. Yeah, no knees. Can't show your knees. Um. Okay. So. Got that. Um. What's your opinion about Lovejoy and James Merritt's music? I need to know. I love them both. I think they're awesome. Um, I haven't talked to James in a bit, but uh, whenever he was wor- he was working on music previously, probably. Uh, it was probably a year ago at this point, but um, uh, he had shown me a song or two before he put them out, and they were, they were awesome as well. I feel people always have a... <clears throat> I don't know. People like, defaultly have a negative view of... Uh, a lot of times, uh, defaultly a negative view of people making music that are from um, like the online creator space. 
uh, but it's usually like that you in my mind it's it's i think it's a stigma that's going to go away it's soon ish because it's like you're a lot most people who get popular from the creator space are, are popular because they're creative and creativity is a big thing for like creator storytelling and a lot of a lot of the skills that are in content creation um translate very like one to one to or not one to one but translate very well to making music and other other art forms and writing books and um yeah whatever but I don't hear a lot of cleaning going on. That's true. But I'm not okay. I, I need to. I've like organized my stuff, and I'm like debating. Um, I'm, I'm like packing technically, and so I'm like, what am I bringing? I don't know what I'm bringing because um, I'm traveling somewhere in a couple of days. Um, so I'm like, I don't know. So I like laid out all my clothes, and then now I'm just like, what am I gonna wear? I don't know. What am I gonna wear? Help me. What should I wear? <sighs> um, okay, so I'll bring... This is hard. I don't know what I want to wear. You know, damn well, you're going to wear that cat beanie. Sure. I like the cat beanie. My hair, my hair is, is, it's so, it's so hit or miss. It just depends. And it's also just so different. So it's not even necessarily hit or miss. It's more like one day it'll look one way and then the next day it'll look another. Do you still have the green cap any? Um, either I do or George does. I know it's somewhere. I might have it. One of us has it. I think George has it. I found my Saikuno scarf. We're getting any more drop chats soon. Drop chat. 
Probably. It's just completely random. It just depends on, like, what I'm doing. Um... This These are nicks. Why do I have nicks closed? That's not mine. What are these? These are mine. The Dreet reveal. No, you could barely see my feet. You could barely see them. People saying I sat crisscross to hide my feet. I did. That's just how I sat. I didn't. I wasn't hiding my feet. Hmm. You guys are so silly. What is like what is like red match with? I don't know what red matches with. Like a purpley red. I don't know if I bring them or not. I have like these red pants. I don't think I've worn them like on camera. <laughs> they probably look dumb. Maybe not. I'm bringing them. I guess. Whatever. Mm-hmm. 
Oh yeah, in the meetup vlog, I was wearing them. <laughs> Never mind. Okay. <laughs> yeah. I don't know what red matches with though. I feel like my outfit didn't match. Did that? Did it match? I guess that probably. I don't know. The blue with the red. I don't, I don't even know. I don't know. <laughs> Wait. I'm actually... I'm trying to look. I don't know if those were the pants. This might be brown. I think. I think. I'm looking at my other ones. I think these are. I think those are brown. I think those are not. I think those are brown. Huh. Yeah, I think those are brown. You just keep distracting me. Um, okay. Um, all right. Yeah, those are the. I don't. I don't think I. These are red. Those are brown. I, I'm not. I'm ninety nine percent sure that this is. That these are completely different. Um, they're not even the same type of fans. Fine. Do I like your cat? Yes. I like your cat. <laughs> Are you going to address the ginger allegations? I mean, you can clearly tell that I'm not ginger. Um, I mean, obviously, my hair does have some, like, auburn in it, but you can look at any photo of me and tell that I'm not ginger. But there's truth that my hair does have an auburn tint sometimes. Just depends on the lighting. That's why when I've mentioned before, I've, I've thrown strawberry in there before when I've said dirty blonde or like, yeah, strawberry, dirty blonde. I think it's, I don't know. My hair is a unique color. It's not, it's, it, the reason there's so much argument over it is because it's, it's not like a, it, it, usually people, 
you can just put someone's hair into an exact category. Which means like, I don't know, my hair is more, my hair is very unique. It's not, it's, it's like, it's very obviously not brown. It's very obviously not like black. It's very obviously not blonde. Um, but then it's like, okay, well, where does it, where does it sit then? How would you describe it? And I think that there's people saying that it's brown or wrong and people saying that it's um, blonde or wrong, but that it does, it fits into a category like in between where it's not, it's kind of a mix. It's like a mixture of like ginger, blonde, brown, and I don't even know. I guess probably those, it's probably those three all in combination to make the fur ball. These patches sleeping? I don't know. Probably. Probably asleep. Might not be that. I don't know what she's up to. <laughs> uh, okay. Sorry, guys. I'm just organizing. It's taking my concentration. Is it GMO in time? It is. Okay, I'm going to end my space. Bye, guys. I'm going to, I'll be, I was going to leave soon anyway, so it's not just because of that, but anyway, whatever. He was going to make fun of me. Um, bye. I'm, good morning. I'll see you guys later. I'll do another space soon, I guess. I don't know. We'll see. Bye. Love you. Peace.